Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to quickly go over some of the nuances that make our garments rather special and how we compare to tailoring houses along Savile Row and in Naples, uh, Italy. So to start off, I'd like for you to observe the metal plate right here. You will notice that the owner's name has been carefully laser etched onto this particular metal plate that comes with the hanger. If you are to observe uh, the lapel, you will notice small, small peckerings that go all around the face of the suit. Now, these peckerings are called pig stitching, and they are a hallmark of bespoke tailoring. In ready-to-wear garments, they try to imitate it by doing it by machine, but in true bespoke garments, it's all done by hand. If you are to observe under the lapel, you will notice a short stub right here that's been beautifully braided, uh, and whose purpose is to support a flower stalk that's been placed through the button near buttonhole and keeps it from moving left and right. So it supports the flower stalk right in place and keeps it steady. Now, it's not only not visible to the uh, ordinary eye, but we take our time and make sure it's there because it is uh, part of the true traditional bespoke tailoring process. If you have to observe this gorge line right here, you will note that it's been joined by hand, not by a machine, as you would observe in ready-to-wear garments. And the reason for this is to make it a lot more secure and keep it steady in the long run. If you are to observe the pocket right here, you will notice that we try to really achieve a continuity and alignment of the lines right there. In all our joints, we make sure that there is a possible a uh, match between the lines as you can observe. Now if this garment was done by a machine, a, ma a machine will not have the conscience to realize when the lines align as they do right here. They will normally stagger or be misaligned, but because it's done by hand and because the human conscience is involved, it's all almost perfectly aligned right there. <laughs> If you are to observe the uh, buttonhole, our quality of finishing is uh, rather exquisite, as you would expect for a garment of this caliber. Now, all this is done by hand. We make our buttonholes by hand, and the reason for this is to achieve this clean, clean finish that you can observe against my finger right here. That there are no loose threads whatsoever hanging along the surface of the buttonhole that it's all really, really clean. In most ready-to-wear garments, and even some bespoke garments, you will notice short, short stubs of threads hanging out from the buttonhole. But because we take our time, you'll notice that this is rather uh, meticulously done. If you were to observe the sleeve right here, you will notice that the peak stitching continues even onto the sleeve hand right there, and that the buttons are overlapping slightly right there. Now we call this kissing buttons uh, and they are a hallmark of a bespoke garment. Another thing you'll notice from our sleeves is that our buttons are actually functioning, that you can actually open and close them. Uh, this also takes quite some time and if you observe against my finger you'll notice that the finishing is again, uh, as you would expect, quite meticulous. If you were to observe the inside of the jacket, you will notice that uh, the owner's name has been carefully embroidered on the upper left pocket. If you were to observe again, you will notice that the pig stitching continues even on the inside of the garment. Now all this is done by hand, it's a very painstaking process, but we make sure that we include all this by hand. If it would uh, a ready-to-wear garment or even a made-to-measure garment, all this will normally be done by a machine. But in a true bespoke garment, you will notice that it's done by hand and you can tell from the irregularity of the stitches that it's actually done by, by hand. If you were to observe the other side of the jacket, you will notice that uh, <coughs> there are small stays right there and right there that help secure the button in place and secure it uh, much more steadily. 
Now the reason for this is to keep the button in place uh, for much longer and to uh, support it uh, in the long run because the button is the most active part of the jacket and it requires a lot of uh, support to keep it from pulling a, from from the garment. If you were to observe uh, the quality of our pockets, if you look closely, you'll notice that they're joined by hand right there and right there. In ready to wear garments, they will normally be joined by a machine, but because this is a bespoke garment, it's done by hand. And the reason for this is to secure the pocket in place and keep it from tearing off its edges. If you were to observe the back of the jacket, You will notice that uh, the vent right here has also been joined by hand. That this is not joined by a machine. I don't know if you can observe from the quality of my video that it's been joined by hand. Unlike in ready-to-wear garments where it's joined by a machine. Then along the vent as well, you will notice that there's small, small peak stitching continues uh, along the side vents as well, right there, and on the other side as well right there but the peak stitching also continues now all this is done by hand and it takes quite some time if you were to observe under the collar of our jackets you will notice hidden details such as this one that are normally not visible to the eye but are uh, noticeable to the wearer and only the wearer knows that they exist if you were to observe the shape of the collar again, you will notice that uh, the collar drops slightly and goes back up, right there. Now, the reason for this shape is uh, to make sure that the back of the jacket uh, holds firmly against the back of the wearer and gives it an extra push against the back of the wearer. If we were to cut this uh, jacket into two, right here, along the face, you will notice a piece of floating canvas like this one, right there. Now, this forms the skeleton of the jacket and uh, helps preserve the shape of the jacket in the long run, even after dry clean. And this is normally a detail that uh, is normally not quite there in ready to wear garments and is done by hand. All the stitches are done by hand. So it is another hallmark of a bespoke tailored garment that there is a floating canvas inside the particular jacket that gives it uh, extra strength and durability. Now uh, all these details constitute uh, a bespoke garment and uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to your feedback.